Hi there, I'm Guitar Hero 1885 and in this video we're going to take a look at Heat Seeker on PlayStation 2 Spy Codemasters. It's a combat flight game featuring jets, fighter planes. So I got this a while back, a few months ago. I had it a few years ago as well but got rid of it. By Codemasters. It's pretty much an arcade game. Arcade shooter. In the form of a flight simulator. Fully 3D. Nice control system, analog control system. Shoot down enemy planes and ground troops and take out targets on the ground. So I'll show you the box. I just stuck this game on again and it seems to be it seems to be alright. Uh, I thought quite a lot of it at first when I first played it, so we'll just jump right into it. Actually it's just the first mis mission I'm on here. So the idea is we have to the mission objective here is to get to an airbase that's been under it's under attack by enemy fighters. And right now we're taking out the enemy fighters that are harassing our teammates, other members of our air force. It's got a nice camera, nice replay sort of bullet time thing when you take out the the enemy. You've got machine guns, heat seeking missiles, hence the name. There's the, the pilot failing out. Just some thought see if I can shoot him. Nah. Can't get him. So we have to fly west. The airbase is west. It handles really well, like an arcade game. It's not quite arcade quality, but well, maybe it is. Using the analog stick is a lot like a joystick or a what do you call those things? I can a control wheel that you get in a in a plane. So you use the the right analog stick for your afterburner, and it bursts through like that. Good amount of speed. So the air base is under attack, and our job and the mission is to take care of the fighters that are attacking the airbase. I think that's... oh that missed. I surely should have got that. So, I have to say, I like this game. It's, it's got a really good arcade feel. The control system, the, the control of the plane feels realistic, feels... Well, not that I know what a plane feels like to drive, but... or to fly. Well, it feels good to play. It feels like you're controlling a vehicle in the air. The heat, like the, the wee camera thing is nice as well when you take out the enemy. The controls aren't too twitchy or too sensitive. They've got a nice balance with the controls. That's a direct hit, that's the of the game. It logs how many kills you've got on the missions, which is quite a nice touch as well. So, and you've got a machine gun, yeah. Graphics aren't too bad at all, the sky's nice. Top gun for the NES, eat your heart out really. I haven't played many. Many flight simulator games or arcade flight games. But this one is excellent. I played Ace Combat for the PS1. It was okay, but, you know, lacking a lot. It's, this has got a lot more going on than Ace Combat. I think I had Ace Combat for the PS2 as well. That might have been the other flight game I've had. I might not have had this before. Uh, it's 
so in this gets the arse off it. One of the only other flight simulator games I've played was Chalks Away for the Acorn. So, I don't know if anybody out there has heard of that game. I couldn't even get the plane off the ground, but... Not sure how many people will have played that game. So anyway, back to this one. Looks good, good sense of speed, good control, nice graphics. Got a good feel, good ar arcade feel to it. Action packed. Plane controls nicely. Good button layout. Graphics are okay. I'd have to give this. Uh, and the replay impact cam thing. Yeah, I'll give this four stars. Excellent game. Good arcade experience. Very enjoyable to play. So, I'm Guitar Hero 1885. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, there are more videos available. And uh, take a look at them if you like. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching.